Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. I am JT O'Sullivan. Today, Jimmy G. Jimmy is back. Jimmy's got his footwork rolling. Jimmy is throwing those in-breaking routes. Fired up for this one. Let's get it going. Welcome to the QB School. Before we dive into the video, quick reminder, we have revamped the Quarterback School Patreon community process, sign up, membership, everything about it. Never been cheaper, never been more streamlined of a process, never been easier, and there has never been more content available over there. So if you enjoy the Quarterback School YouTube channel, you will love the Quarterback School Patreon community. Get over there, check it out, become a member. The link is in the description. I sincerely appreciate it. As for this video, let's get into it. Jimmy G, have yourself a day. First one here, third and five. Little hot option up top. First down. Thank you very much. This is a big duel gone wrong here at left tackle. Everyone's favorite left tackle, big seven one. Uh he needs to come down here. So when the center goes to the right, our left to twenty five, we're gonna be hot if all three of these guys blitz. Okay, so that's the short answer. Once he goes this way to block those, they've got six that can potentially get us here. We've only got five in the pass protection unit. I know a great course available at a significant discount this Friday that goes in deep detail about this, but this is called the big duel. So when the guard goes down here to nine, Trent Williams essentially has to go here all the way out to here. Not easy to do. And if they both blitz, we want the widest one to be able to run. So we never want free runners through the A and the B gap, A gap, B gap. This is a free runner through the B gap. Jimmy G, making it happen when it's not perfect. What? That's nice. This is good quarterbacking. Nice job, Garoppolo. Again, really nice job. Third and five, up top with the option. Simple, clean. Again, I love his ability to get it out hot. It's not perfect. It doesn't matter. Jimmy G overcomes. Say that again. Jimmy G overcomes. Now, we're not driving the ball down the field, but that's nice. Next one here. I love this drop. Love it. This is Jimmy. Jimmy does this drop. Jimmy does the shuffle. Jimmy's got great base. Jimmy can play with in-breaking routes. Jimmy likes. Samuel on the slot here. All his cleats in the ground. Again, people give me a hard time for saying that Jimmy Garoppolo's footwork is my favorite. This is why. Check his base out. Boom. Lined up to the target. Now, we can talk about the menu of options for him to be able to throw it. But this shuffle drop, I think I have a whole video on this shuffle drop. Hit it, lined up, perfect base, all your feet in the ground. I'm going to guess this is an option route. I love it when they cross technique here so that DB has got his rear to the middle of the field. Crosses technique. If you can win, you got an opportunity for a big play. They ran iterations of this all day. Jimmy likes throwing in routes. Another example of just an offense playing to a quarterback's strengths. Again, check the back foot out. So, shuffle, boom, all his cleats in the ground, lined up. Good enough throw. Nice little yak. Let's roll. Okay, so if we're going to talk negatively about everyone's favorite left tackle, we also got to play show the plays where he balling right here, this left tackle. Boom, boom. Nobody better. Been nobody better for a long time. Watch him here. So this is just toss crack to the left. But watch him dip his hip right here. Right there. That little subtle turn. So for a big guy to be able to run like this. And again, I don't know. Maybe the gurus out there will tell me if he's tipping with his stance. But right there, that ability to run. And then get two. Get off me, little Buddha. We're by you. Take two. Just a massive play. Unbelievable weapon. But the ability to move like that and have plays designed. Nice job here to be able to secure the edge. Boom. And then get out there and take two. My goodness. <laughs> That's awesome. This is an awesome football play. This ability and this speed at left tackle is special. Physical on the perimeter. Love it. Next one here. Third and five. Touchdown. Love this from Jimmy. A little one to two. Up top, he's going to work. McCaffrey on the option. No. Flip his hips. Come all the way back to the hip, to the whip return for Ayuk. Watch his base, y'all. 
So set to the right, flip, boom, that, I mean, world class. Right, no, left, yes. Now he's getting a little toesy as he's getting nervous there. But he rips that thing and puts it right on him, on the body, on the brake. Don't jump unless you have to. No to the right, yes to the left. The suddenness, the capacity to process, to get rid of the ball, this is outstanding. So no up top, yes down here. Really love this. This is a full field to read. So your ability, for all you pure progression gurus out there, right here, I'm guessing this is an option. And then where the ball ends up going on this little return or whip back here. It's usually paired with a true shallow and a corner right here. And so you read this saying, hey, this guy should win. I think he ends up taking it to the post here, the short post. That is one. And then two is just all the way on the other side of the field. So shuffle drop, lined up. No to one. Boom. Flip your hips. Get lined up to two. That's elite quarterback footwork right here. World class. Boom. Boom. That's how fast it happens. Right. Left. In a strike for a touchdown. Tight red zone window. Hell yes. Hell yes. This is it. World class footwork. Outstanding. Love it. Next one, third and three. Can Jimmy the playmaker now? Finding Kittle. Buddha gets too aggressive. Nice little touch. Don't miss a layup. Friendly fire. Love it. I mean, you don't see this a whole lot. Drop eight. Somebody wide open in the middle of the field. Outstanding. Again, I don't think anybody thinks of Jimmy Garoppolo as necessarily a playmaker, per se. Like when things break down, he's going to create. But right right here, come up. He's going to cut Kittle on this little basic. Thinks he's going to pick this thing off. We extend the play. This is why extending the play matters so much. Extend the play. Keep your eyes down the field. They only rush three. All three of these guys get past the quarterback. Okay? No rush integrity. No defensive line. Kind of integrity here with your rush lanes, and you make them pay. Jimmy Garoppolo can do it. It's pretty rare, but we've seen it. Love it. Big play. Really happy for him watching him do this, man. This is like, you know, what everybody says he can't do. Finding a way to do it. Monday Night Football. Outstanding. Love it. But, okay, and this is the big one for me. This is why, after all said and done, we're still make, looking to make a change at quarterback. I know this is a check down, and it gets a first down, and we can talk about that being a good decision and acknowledge that. But the reason that, in my opinion, this ball should be thrown down the field, and it's there, and the fact that he turns it down as much as missing it, it's actually worse than missing it, in my opinion. So what is the play? This is a quarters beater. So first look at the shell of the defense for all you shell coverage gurus. And this is quarters. Everybody's got a quarter, or we're going to call it quarters. The number one quarters beater for most people is big post over the top. And we're going to pair this with a wheel here. And then I'm going to guess the integrity of this play, why they're calling this, is to get Kittle on this little sail right here. And if it's not there, then the ball ends up going to the check down. Okay, so I'm going to say, and this is just my assumption, that they're calling this to try to get it here. But if you catch quarters with a big post and multiple verticals to the same side to be able to hold that safety, this player right here, if he hesitates at all, I personally want this ball thrown. And I think it should be thrown. Okay, so let's play it out where we're watching this near safety and if he inserts at all or doesn't get depth, can we throw that post over the top? And this isn't like, oh, it's my opinion. This is how teams beat quarters coverage. Right there. Up. Throw it. Throw it. Especially against a guy like Buda Baker, for me, who's going to be what I would classify as like a cheater feel safety. He's going to make a lot of big plays, but he's going to give up plays too. Going to be super aggressive. Rip that post, bro. Throw it. Throw it. And again, 
you know, maybe they're not even letting him throw it. I don't know. I'm not Brian Greasy. We're not in those quarterback rooms, but I can tell you that the vast majority of the people in the league, play callers, want that ball thrown, are calling it for premium looks. This is premium look. Three hesitates, rip it. Now, I'm not saying it's the easiest thing in the world to do because you're play faking, turning your back here, but come up, find that safety, and throw it. And as much as I loved his shuffle footwork, this footwork at the back, not lined up to throw the post, right? Heel click. Finally get there, and we're checking it down. So when you wonder why there's still chatter about why he's not playing next year, that's the example. Halftime, you dig the channel and you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the bell, get the notifications. It lets you know when we go live, when we put out new content. I certainly appreciate the support for the channel. In addition, the Quarterback School Patreon community. You know about it. Never been easier to sign up. Never been cheaper. Never been more content available over there. Get over there. Become a Quarterback School Patreon community member. I appreciate the support. And then quarterback school courses, the absolute premium content available through the channel. We are getting close to Black Friday, the biggest, most massive sale of the year for the quarterback school courses. We are slashing prices across the board. So if you've ever thought about enrolling, Friday is your day. Make sure I have your email. I can get your email by signing up for any of the quarterback school resources. I will share the code early and often. Get over there, enroll in a course. I sincerely appreciate the support for the channel. As for this video, Let's keep it going. Next one, third and 13. Love this anticipation up top. Now, Ayuk slips, but I'm always going to love me some capital A anticipation. You got to be able to trust your guys on the perimeter. You got to be put in situations to do this. It's not, you don't see him throw the ball down the field outside the numbers very often. He's separating right there. Look where Ayuk is in this route. Right here, he's going to go all the way, slip, fall, doesn't matter. Quarterback-wise here, this is outstanding. Good read, everybody's hooking. It goes another five-plus yards. Great rhythm to his base. Boom. If anything, you know, and this is just me talking, the back of this drop, I like the width of his feet here. See how his feet are right on the 30? Don't go back. I don't know what that little back hitch is, but I don't like it. Now, it doesn't impact this play, but it could impact throws moving forward and certainly impacting your capacity to generate force towards your target. So little details there at the very top of the drop, too. Next one, second and 11. Love this drop again. This is Jimmy. Love this formation, too. McCaffrey on the slot. Samuel in the backfield. They did this a few times. Watch the drop. Shuffle. Great base, in-breaking route. I feel like we've seen this story before, seen this scene before. Nice job with his eyes as well. I'm also assuming this is an option, not a slant down here to the slot. That's a really nice job. And this is just doing what Jimmy does. Jimmy likes slants. Jimmy likes in-breaking routes. Jimmy likes good players on the perimeter. So do I. Next one here, second and ten. Ball's on the 13, double slant up top, we're hot. In breaking route again, break a tackle, touchdown. So we're hot off 56. He's going to be a free runner. This time we block it up correctly. They pass off the TE on the left side of the offensive line. Free runner comes the wide side. Don't even get hit. Again, outstanding base. Watch him get lined up to the left. Boom. Boom. On the body, on the break, touchdown. Again, just the hot awesome aspect here. They're going to get a, essentially is a 5-0 call here. So we're going to go these five for these five. They're going to run a little game on this side. They pick it up. The free runner right here coming from the C-plus gap. And it just takes too long. He's too far away. And so, yeah, we're hot. It doesn't matter. He doesn't even get hit. Ball's out of our hands. Quick game. Boom. And look at the drop, you guys. Look at the back foot. Catch. Boom. All his cleats in the ground. Great rhythm to it. Right on him. Touchdown. Next one. Last touchdown pass. A little sneak flat to Kittle. Wide ass open. We got some horrific football right here from 33. Just absolute clown soft. Real bad. Business decision, whatever. 
I don't care how you classify it. This is uh, unacceptable on any number of levels. Just push them out of bounds. Sneak flat. Love these kind of plays. They get a little, you know, who knows, is this a pressure? You know, we got two guys in the same gap here. Not great defense, whole different kind of video. But this little sneak flat, off the boot action, great job. And again, you know, this is great play calling. When guys pop this wide ass open, this is what it looks like. Awesome design. 33 the corner down here though. That effort, you guys, what, what the hell is he doing? All you have to do is push him. Kittle's actually surprised that he doesn't get pushed. Just tap him and he goes out of bounds. Take your left hand and tap him. What are we doing? Don't even come back to the facility. Wow. But nice job here from the 49ers. Great job by Kittle's got a unique knack to finish this thing. Violent on the boundary, but that's bad football, 33. So that is a wrap. Jimmy Garoppolo, Monday Night Football, Week 11, rolling. The 49ers rolling. Got some weapons on the perimeter. They are playing to Jimmy's strengths. Love Jimmy's footwork. Love Jimmy's base. Love Jimmy throwing in-breaking routes. Jimmy still potentially turning down big plays, certainly down the field, maybe outside the numbers, but overcame some hot issues, threw hot, got the ball out of his hands, did a really nice job. I know they're playing against the Cardinals, but still. Jimmy Garoppolo, really nice night, looking for him to just continue to build on that and then potentially maybe pushing the ball down the field a little bit more vertically, a little bit outside the numbers. We'll see. Probably not, but still fun to watch. Hopefully you enjoyed it as well. Thank you so much for hanging to the end. I will see you next time. Have a good one.